it's Gummy Bear. Welcome back to my channel for a brand new Virtual Families 3 video. What the heck is the kid doing? So he just went and he's laying down between his parents. Um, anyways, for some reason I struggled to say that, but today I'm just going to be playing some Virtual Families 3. We're going to be going and checking on my resort because I haven't been there for a super long time. So we're going to spend a little bit of time there today. And it looks like he's taking a nap, but anyways, why? Oh, I thought it said, wait, is he depressed? Why is he depressed? What the heck? He's only two years old. Anyways, we gotta open this email, and I'm gonna have them try for a baby, and then we'll get going on to the resort. They're sending a stuffed bear. Let's see, did we get it? Let's see. We actually got a stuffed bear. That's funny. I have the parents. I thought this outfit would, these outfits would match a little bit better, but this is what they ended up with. Heating up food, girl. There we go. All right, so they're going to go try for a baby and yeah, give them some privacy. Now their kid, Flynn, is just sitting in the fireplace to watch TV. That is way too close. My mom would have yelled at me if I sat that close to the TV. Alright, so it looks like they didn't have a baby this time. Let's go over to the resort. Here we are. It is super messy, of course. So, I'm gonna have my people start cleaning up. I guess. I don't know what else to do. But it's the worst part. So, I guess that's what they should be doing. So, if you guys are new here, you probably haven't seen my resort. Or you, maybe you have if you went back to my resort videos. But I'll give a quick tour of my resort just in case. So this is just the front room when you walk in, like the little check-in area, and then this is just the bathroom and kitchen. Nothing crazy there. This is the cafeteria. We have tables and a whole buffet to eat and drink. And then we have this bedroom with two beds, and this is kind of like a more of a family bedroom. And then this is like a room for couples that I set up. And then we have over here a activity room and game room just to like hang out and have fun and as you can see there's a lot of people on the couch right now um and there's like an activity table for the kids to like do art and this whole thing has art as well i this is just like a storage shed so i just have the extra furniture i'm not using in here right now and then i have this really nice little deck that nobody uses and i bought for no reason over here, I have a rock garden. People do actually seem to like the rock garden, so that's good. And I really like it. I think it's really pretty. I would put this at my house if it was an option. I think that they should bring a lot of this stuff from the resort to the house because we would be buying it. Like, it makes sense to me. Um, anyways, this is the little log cabin that I have for guests. And it also has a snack bowl and this, like, mini fridge right over here, which... The guests really seem to love so yeah and of course i got some hand sanitizer you can never be too careful these days <laughs> i'm just joking and then i have some lights i'm trying to set up lights to go to the stairs but i i gave up on it a long time ago like i haven't really been on my resort for like months so as you can see the approval is super low but i don't really care because i don't really use the resort that much um see if we were still having a storyline in it and there was still making progress making money from it then i would be on the resort a lot more but because everything just cut off it's like there was a story going then all of a sudden it just cut off and it doesn't do anything anymore it doesn't make any sense because it didn't seem like the story finished or wrapped up or anything it's like it just cut off randomly and everything stopped to me anyways it didn't really seem like it had an ending usually endings of things are not just like Oh, everyone's fine. Like, you know what I mean? Um, anyways. Yeah, that was the tour of my resort. That's what it looks like. And so, yeah. I gotta get my people picking these weeds. Because I already had them pick, like, eight weeds. And look how many there are around. There's still tons of weeds. So, we gotta do that now. Looks like we're all clear of weeds. How many weeds do you guys think that was? I didn't even keep track. But it was a lot. Also, look how many guests we have. We have so many guests right now. Oh, he's cleaning up the room. Perfect. What is she doing? She's just taking a break. 
Where's the kid? Oh, he has a collectible. That's right. I almost forgot. I'm going to have him make the bed. He's feeling woozy now, which I haven't seen them do for a while. And he's going to wash his face. Now oh, she's looking for something to do. I have something for you to do. Here, reorganize the books. Guys, look how this person is sitting right here. So guys, I took down this room to switch it to the other one to see if they had changed the prices to like a better price. They have not, so I'm not going to buy anything um, for that other room. I'm just going to keep this one. And I had to redecorate it now. <laughs> Okay, that's set back up, and honestly, I feel like for each guest that comes in, we should get, like, at least, like, 30 coins or something. Like, I know that's not even a lot, but, like, at least, like, something, honestly, because we're getting nothing, and all these people are staying at our resort, eating our food, and we're doing all this work, spending all this money for basically nothing. Um, so, yeah, they should be definitely paying us. <laughs> candles here i want to try to get them to on the nightstands because like i said this is like a couple's room so candles yes they would have candles i mean i don't know if people actually bring real candles to a hotel it doesn't seem very safe but i mean i guess it's not that much different at, as if you're at home just like don't leave the candle and leave the hotel don't you know i mean <laughs> all set back up from what i did and it's looking the same as it did before i changed the room but i'm gonna have my people grab these collectibles really quick and then i don't really know i don't know um this person is spying i really i'm waiting for them to give the clothes i know other people are too like give us these clothes that the resort people are wearing also like, I feel like they're fa dressed pretty fancy, some of them. Like, she's normal, wearing a normal mountain resort outfit. But some of these people are just, like, just fancy. Like, what are you doing here? What is she even doing? Admiring the decorations. Look like you're coughing. He's just normal. I like this outfit. I wish we had this outfit because I feel like it's really simple. I think we need more simple. And look, he has, like, vans on. Um, that outfit I like as well. Obviously, I like hers, and I love that she has a backpack. Red dress, it would be nice to have. It just doesn't make sense for the resort. But it would be nice to have for ourselves. Her outfit, I don't even know what she's wearing. Um, I'm gonna have my lady or guy talk to her. Let's have the kid talk to her, <laughs> if he can. And we'll see what she's wearing. Um, that's an okay outfit, I guess. I've never really been looked at that. Here's the secret question of the day, guys. It is, again, a virtual families related because it's what's on my mind. If you could have anything from the resort moved over to your normal game, like, if you could pick one thing, what would you pick to bring over? Like, including, like, the clothes or anything, like, the buffet stuff, the game, like, anything at all. What would you pick? I would probably pick the white bed because I just, I don't understand why we don't have a white bed in the game. Like, we need something that can go with everything. And also, who doesn't like a fresh, clean, like, looking bed? So that would be what I would pick to have in the normal game. So yeah, let me know your pick down in the comments. I would love to know what you guys' thoughts are. Um, and that guy's outfit, eh. Sorry, I've been I've been reading the outfits. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Did you guys see that? She's enjoying the bedroom. What? Maybe too much, girl. You're all dressed like you're like fancy, but you're acting. Are you gonna do it too now? What are you doing? Taking care of the bedroom. Why are you guys standing on the table and dancing on the beds? The key. We already have the key, but <laughs> I just thought it was cool to find her again. Okay, I'm actually kind of um, tempted to buy the jacuzzi since I have the money now. But three? I don't know. That's going to take half my money. Like, oof. Oh, I don't know. I kind of want to buy stuff but at the same time. I don't ever use the resort, so I don't think it's even a good idea might as well sell stuff i mean like <laughs> you know what i mean like 
this is the first time I've actually been on here in months, months, like since the storyline stopped because I'm a big storyline person. Games like The Sims where there's tons to do, but there's still if you if you if you actually play The Sims, there is some storyline in there. But it's not as intense. But I am a storyline person. Like I love I love stories in games like Skyrim. Oh my god. I love all the stories and everything. So that was really what was keeping me at the resort is the storyline and like the things changing, like spooky things happening. Like I really liked that. But yeah, it's gone now, so I'm not I'm not wanting to be here as much. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna go home now. I'm gonna have them check for a baby one more time if they will. This video might be kind of long. I'm not really sure. I'll put her at the table. Let's go find out. Okay, they are trying to have a baby, so let's just wait and see. Little buddy, you gonna get a little brother or sister? We'll find out. He goes to the best shower too. Alright guys, so they didn't have a baby, but that's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to answer the secret question of the day. And yeah guys, I'll see you all in my next video. Please give a thumbs up. Alright, bye!